Hello, happy, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. I'm very, very wet, gloomy, miserable day. I was like enjoying my weekend, starting off my morning nice and slow. And then in the shower, I was just like running over stuff in my head about what I need to do this week. And then I realized on Friday when I was lipolizing my samples, I only lipolized half of my samples. I forgot about the other half that I have been storing in the freezer. So I gotta shoot there. I have to go into the lab and like lipolize the rest of the samples because I want to run UPLC tomorrow. So yesterday I asked Hohan because he was here to uh, yeah. These are my lipolize samples from Friday. Now I'm gonna go turn on the lipolizer in the other lab. Can you tell how very much I don't want to eat it right now? But anyways, this should be pretty quick. I'm just gonna turn it on. So I'm gonna sign this and wait. Okay, should be fine. Let's go grab my samples and in and out we go. Oh my gosh, look at all these samples that I have to lifelize. These are the samples I lifelize on Friday. <laughs> oh my gosh, and so silly. So I'm gonna transfer these samples because they're in the negative 20, so it's not like as frozen as they can be. So this dry ice over here and let it sit for a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I poked holes into all of them. I have two, two of these guys. I'm gonna take it over there now and put them into their tubes and then put them onto the light light. Oh, I'm so tired. I don't want to be here. But yeah, okay. I will see you tomorrow. Nothing interesting here. Just gonna put these on the lipolizer. Bye bye. So many samples. I'm just gonna run these six first at the latest time point just to check. Just to check if it's actually working. Okay, so while this is running, I'm gonna go prepare the rest of the Brazilian samples. Mm -hmm. PLC now and let it run. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired already. It's 11:15 and I started at like slightly before nine. So just two hours of just processing samples. Okay, 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 okay. Hello, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday on a gloomy day in the office. <laughs> I just got in and I'm going to be analyzing the data from yesterday. Cross your fingers, freaking cross your fingers. I really don't know what's gonna happen if it didn't work. That's fun. And then later on today, the lab is actually going to go skating. <laughs> So every last Tuesday of the month, we skip our like group meeting uh, and then we go out and do something or like an activity together. So this month, Jamin suggested we go skating. I hope I can bring you along. I'll try to vlog a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see. That is today. So we're gonna try to get as much work done as possible. And I'm nervous about this data. It's fine. I'll check in with you later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, 
Hello, happy Friday. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am back in my office as you could see I was away for the last two days at the company doing my internship and I have a couple updates so I resubmitted the paper that got rejected finally so that, that experiment that I was freaking out about I figured it all out and then got some pretty promising results wrote it all up, put it into the paper and then resubmitted it to a different journal on Wednesday so... <laughs> I'm just gonna be transparent again like it's fine if it gets rejected I think I'm really trying to learn with this process and work on receiving criticism and receiving rejections and dealing with rejections so you were there with me for the first time that I got rejected so here we go this is the this is the next step so this is the journal we submitted it to and I submitted it on December 1st Today is December 3rd and it is currently with the editor <laughs> So the lesson learned from the last time is that I think I'm just not gonna check it every day Like I, I time that I submitted, I checked it every day and I just It's exciting and something to look forward to But then when I got the rejection, it hurt a lot This time if it gets rejected, like Yeah, I don't, I don't wanna check it every day Anyway, so that, that's my second paper And then the third paper, I'm officially done with it We finished it early this week And, or last week actually, I think last week And now the boss says that, you know, we should just Submit it to a journal and see how it goes worst case scenario we get feedback from it and then that can help me prepare for my defense 9 30 friday morning i'm looking up this journal and looking at what i need to do to submit it here we go here we freaking go hello it is now like almost 2 p.m and i'm finally getting ready to submit the paper because <laughs> I had to write a cover letter and I had to write highlights. It's happening soon. This is my third. So basically like after you upload all your stuff, usually they will build like a preview, like a PDF version of what you're submitting and you have to go through and like check to make sure everything looks good and like all the formatting and stuff. And then every time, this is my third time because I built it and then I saw that like the links didn't carry over and like I'm missing stuff or like something's duplicated. Oh my God. This is the third time. I think it's finally ready. So, oh my gosh, let's hit submit together. Okay, 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 let's go. Okay, okay, and then action here. Approve submission. Nah, it's okay, it's fine. Yes. Submit, submit. Uh, submitted Okay That is it Um I'm not sure how I feel right now <laughs> I'm I'm very happy that I think I'm happy I think I'm relieved that Paper number two and paper number three Two Two and three are submitted Within, within the week <laughs> Submitted two papers this week And I promise you, I am not going to check the status every day and I'll keep you updated on how it goes If we get rejected, it's okay The feedback is good for preparation for my defense This is the mindset and intention that I'm setting for myself So you keep me accountable for all of this, please I'm going to work on my thesis now and um, some TA work But yeah, yeah yeah. Hello, happy Sunday, happy Sunday from home I have a lot of feelings because I think, was it Friday? What day was it? Friday? Yeah, Friday that I submitted my final paper for publication and I think the weight of that finally hit me like yesterday so I'm feeling a lot of feelings yesterday and today and I don't know, I just wanted to like turn on the camera and talk a little bit while I wrap this up Let me show you, okay, I'm gonna put you down Flattering angle, here we go Um. <laughs> This is a waffle maker. Yeah, I got rid of my address. But yeah, this is, oh, okay. this is a waffle maker that. Oh, hello, Hiro. Hello, Hiro. You wanna be part of the shot? You wanna come? Come here. Good boy. You wanna say hello? You wanna say hello? 
No, you don't want to say hello? <laughs> say hi! Look, what's this? Here, what's this? What's this over here? Over here, over here, over here. Okay, anyways, this coming Friday is the very last annual Christmas celebration with the on, with the grad students and it's a tradition to do white elephant and I'm very excited about it and like I just want to get a really good gift, you know, like I just want to like not receive like cool Like it'll be cool to receive a good gift But I just want to be the provider of a gift that like people fight over I'm gonna wrap it up very nice and we can talk as I do this the main chunk of my PhD is done. The main parts of my writing is done. Like because I'm doing a paper-based thesis, I have my papers. So I just need to like transfer it to my thesis and make it all cohesive. Like write a, a nice conclusion. But other than that, I'm done and. I'm gonna be cleaning up my bench sometime soon and after this Christmas break, like this is the very last Christmas break, you know, and come January, once everyone gets back, like I'll be working full time at the new company and then I'll be coming back to wrap up, like, you know, I'll be done wrapping up, like I'll be done, like I'm done. <laughs> Like obviously I still need to like study for and get ready for the defense and like do all that preparation and stuff, but I just can't believe it's, it's done and, and 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 I don't know what to do with myself as you can see I'm struggling very very hard I really really enjoyed my PhD it's been the best years of my life I've met the best people I've grown the most in this period like it went by like that. It felt like both like this, but also like very long because so much happened. We're gonna be moving. I'm gonna be legit adulting. I always like to make this crease here. I don't know how I feel about this YouTube channel as well. Like I don't know what it's gonna transition to because I still genuinely like love editing videos and like documenting stuff but I don't know if you're here because of my PhD I have a feeling that like once I, I'm done my PhD and I'm not doing like, lab vlogs anymore you'll leave <laughs> so I'm, I'm really not sure what it will transition to and like I even talk to my current like employers like you know at the new company about the possibility of like continuing to vlog and stuff but I think they're still thinking about it but it's gonna be very unlikely that I'll be able to vlog in a similar fashion as to how I was doing during my PhD as openly and like freely I don't know how this channel will evolve if it will continue, I would love it to continue and you know transition with me wherever I'm at in my life. But we'll see, I guess. Like, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions, if you want me to continue to be making videos and uploading videos and contributing on YouTube, tell me why you're here. What makes you want to watch and like what you're interested in seeing. And if I incorporated more of like my life, would you still be interested or I, I genuinely I don't know like yeah I would love to hear your thoughts please send me messages leave me comments about this I think I'm gonna be an emotional wreck soon I think I'm in denial a little bit and I think also I've been a mess for a while not uh, not a complete mess but I've gone in and out of these like oh you know like I'm up here like oh I'm really excited to be done and then I'm down here I'm like oh my gosh like, I'm not ready for adulting and then like no actually I'm really ready I'm really excited we're not done yet we're not quite done yet like I still have to do I still have to pass my freaking defense and submit my thesis and all that good stuff but in terms of experiments and the ups and downs of every step like you've been with me for a good chunk of the way and I'm just super grateful that I had a chance to share this with you it's just a lot it's just a lot and I hear that PhD depression is like a real thing like post PhD depression I mean I'm such an, an emotional person so I'm probably gonna very likely that I will be feeling those feelings when I'm actually really done we're getting close getting very very close it's a good thing I am done wrapping up this gift do you like my wrapping skills this I really like wrap like one of the best parts about you know giving away gifts so 
this is a good place to end the video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye